Howdy folks, Scott Pollard here. A grey box, let's see what's inside. Just what I have been waiting for, hot out of the postmaster's hands, straight from banggood.com. Check out the link down below there guys, big sale on at the moment. It's a little four inch FPV rocket. Beta FPV always have really, really good QC. So slide her open. And there's a rooftop with looks to be some padding of some sort. Snap lock bag containing some prop screws, two sets of HQ props, which is always good to have some spares. These are really nice props, and these straight away tell me this thing's going to be really fast. Length of the props. Approximately 101 mils. Little Allen key to put your props on. And we also get a Cadex FPV on the screen menu so we can make some BTX adjustments. You can see the packaging there, guys, really nice. They haven't just chucked it in, they've actually really thought about how and where and what position this should be shipped in. And straight away, first impressions in the hand. Holy moly. So what I'm going to do today guys is I'm going to run over this unit, tech specs, all of that sort of hoo-ha. I'm going to power it up, put on the props, run through beta flight so you guys know exactly what you need to do. Should you happen to get a TBS crossfire version, I'll bind it to the radio and get everything hunky-dory so we can take to the sky. While you're watching guys, thumbs up would be appreciated. That's awesome and drop me a comment if you have any questions. I'm going to be running with a Graphene 20 here, which is an 854S. Straight out the box, the quad itself, 128 grams. And putting our battery on. We are 224 grams, which is really, really good news for those of you who have to worry about the 250 gram rule. The motors on here guys, they are 1505 3600 KV brushless. The frame is made up of a number of plates. So we have one and a half mil thickness top and bottom plate and the arms are four mil thickness. So that's good news. Should you happen to break an arm, you won't need to replace the whole frame. You can just replace that arm, which is really good. All in one board on this guys, which is really neat. It's a 20 amp ESC. So everything is there, micro SD on the side, antenna nicely mounted on, cable tied on, so that's something you don't have to do. Anything from 2 to 4S will be ideal for this unit. Back to the camera, it is an absolute ripper. This is the Cadex Retail 1200 TVL FPV cam, nicely enclosed in a very, very hard plastic. So should that take a knock, that's going to protect your camera and your flight controller really well because that is as solid as solid. So XT60 plug as I said so if your 850 runs an XT30 then just get yourself an adapter and you'll be good to go. On to the VTX like I said right hand circular little um, beta FPV proprietary stumpy antenna there. I do run one of the same antennas on the 905X and yeah like I've shown in some past videos, this is a really, really, really capable VTX antenna. The output of your VTX, you're looking at 25 milliwatts and 200 milliwatts, obviously adjustable. It feels really nice. It feels like quality. Most beta FPV gear is quality. Let's hook it up to beta flight and get it bound to our radio. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, guys, is to bind the crossfire before we plug it into beta flight what you need to do is a tiny bind button on there so just pull the receiver straight out from the camera here, there no drama push that button long press the button you'll see some devices pop up then your tbs light will say bind update rx click on yes and then it will start talking and you'll see update receiver 0% as you can see it takes a couple of seconds it'll eventually talk to your radio and you'll see the 0% start climbing 
slowly to 100%. So we're on 24 now, so let's speed things up a bit. Right, it's reached 100% and it will then say, do not touch, talking, chit chatting, and eventually it will say binding okay. And then we just scroll out, solid green light, means we are speaking. Okay, we have telemetry, over to Betaflight. We have connected away, let's check our ports. Everything looks okay here. We've got our UART for our serial RX for our crossfire and our UART 2. We have our TBS Smart Audio talking. Down to configuration, 8K, 8K. I won't touch anything here. I will turn motor stop on. Running the motor protocol is DSHOT 600, so that's good. X Knight. Uh, receiver is already set up. Air mode telemetry, I won't need to touch any of that. Our beepers are good to go as well. Now we'll need to go down to our receiver to see if things are talking and they're not. We need to change our channel map depending on the type of channel map you have. I have AETR1234. After logging in and out, we can see our radio is chit chatting as it should and we can have a look at our little picture down here and we can just see that everybody is behaving as they should I'm going to get rid of the flip over I shall keep the beeper though make sure our arm is correct angle and horizon are good and we're going to need to change our beeper to auxiliary 5 and we'll just check our vtx set to the maximum 200 milliwatts and it's as simple as that guys and i always like to finish off with a quick calibration while we're flat on the bench up here and ready to disconnect. So now we should be bound, beta flight is configured. Just make sure that it is actually running. And it seems to be spinning okay. everything that looks really good I'm gonna put on the props now okay guys props on that's the order of the props make sure you put them on correctly otherwise she's gonna flip over and do, do all sorts of crazy things and when you are putting the props on yeah do make sure they are the correct way up and no I didn't do that so I'm going to tidy up my XT30 and XT60 cables here so they're a bit neater and we're gonna have a fly Looks good guys, I think it's going to be a terrific flyer. That's going to be part B. Thanks for sticking it out this far. If you have made it this far, smash that bell, thumbs up. The next time you see this, it's going to be in the sky, which is going to be very, very soon. Looks like a nice unit, looks tough, it looks fast. Can't wait to rip it. And yeah, don't forget to put your screws on, otherwise those props are going to fling straight off. And don't make them too tight, otherwise you'll cross thread the motor holes. Thanks guys, see you again soon. Skypilot. Catch you later on. Bye for now.